Welcome back guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to smooth the action of an airbrush, specifically Badger airbrushes. Now, I got the question a lot on how to do this when I posted about making a side feed SOTAR from a Badger 100, which is what this is. This is a side feed Badger 100. That has the spray head, the back handle, and the needle, nozzle, all that, of a SOTAR on it. Um, and it makes a side feed SOTAR. Now I got uh, the 100 to do this, and the trigger on it was very, 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 very rough. And I smoothed it out and put on Facebook about how I did the airbrush and smoothed it out, and it is. I mean, it's, it's butter now. But uh, someone asked how to do it. And it, it's not a hard process, not a long process, but it's one that I don't really want to sit here and go, okay, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do. So I want to show you how I did it without actually going through and doing it. Now this will work for any Badger airbrush. You get into other brands, you're dealing with other parts, and it may not work, but it's a good place uh, to start. Now, the only things I used to do this is a file. This is a very small flat file that actually had the tip uh, broken off. Some 800 grit wet and dry sandpaper and some ZAM metal polish. You can use any metal polish. You can go up higher or lower on the sandpaper, but it doesn't matter. But what you need to do when you're going to smooth the action of an airbrush for a badger, there's only two places you need to look and be concerned about for a rough trigger action. And we'll actually use um, the SOTAR as an example. Take out the needle. Put the needle to the side. Now the two areas that you need to look at, go ahead and take out the trigger. Disassemble the airbrush itself. There are only two areas you really need to look at and work on to really improve the smoothness, let's do it that way, have it faster, faster that way, uh, of an airbrush for, again, specifically Badger airbrushes. It takes a long time to get that out, doesn't it? The first one that you need to look at is the trigger slot. You know, I'll use a chisel uh, as a pointer. It's the trigger slot. Now, with Badger triggers, they're all pretty much the same, the high roller works on all of them, which is what this is is you have quite a bit of movement and all. Now I'm not, I'm not doing anything besides twisting that. And what that does is it allows, you can twist it just enough to where you catch a corner of the trigger, which is a sharp corner, on one of the ends or edges of the trigger slot. And if the trigger slot is really rough, it can make your trigger action very jagged, which is what the, the 100 was. So to fix that, what you do is you take a file, or what I did, and if you want to know what I did, this is what I did. Uh, I took a file, filed each side of the trigger slot a little, took a piece of the 800 grit sandpaper, wrapped it around the file so it had a flat backing, and then wet sanded, not real wet, where I had filed. And then after that, I took uh, a Q-tip with some of the ZAM on it, and I just went back and forth and polished really the trigger slot. And that's really the most vast improvement you're going to feel if there's a lot of machining marks, or in the case of a SOTAR, or one of the Renegade series, or a special airbrush from Badger. If there's a lot of buildup of the finish on there, or rough machining marks, machining marks are the problem on the 100. This really does a lot to smooth them out. Now the other place, and the only other place you need to look, is here. Now, uh, if you're not familiar, this is, you know, your, 
your needle chuck right there. And this is what your trigger moves back to open or to retract the needle and let paint flow through. And this is the other area you need to look at. Now you can uh, tell from me pushing on it. This one's already smooth. I haven't done any work to it. Didn't need to. Uh, but it's not completely round. There's a flat. You can see, and there's uh, you can see how it indexes on that. Now it's either the machining marks on this flat on this little face, or the machining marks on this face. On this flat. If they're rough, it'll cause some interference when you're doing the action, the airbrush. So you can do the same thing uh, either just with straight Zam, with straight sandpaper, or as far as you want to, and just file down a little, try and get those rough edges off, sand it, make sure everything's smooth, polish it up, and then that's really going to help. Now, the other thing that there is a spring in here. That's how you adjust uh, trigger tension on a battery. You can pull that, screw that in or out. You can also replace the spring in there, and that'll help, depending on how heavy or light you like your trigger, uh, may help it feel lighter. But that's all you have to do to smooth the action on a Badger airbrush. Uh, the two places to look again, the trigger slot, and right there. So that's it. There's nowhere really anywhere else that you can really work on a lot and smooth out to make it feel a lot better. You can you know oil it, put on some of the uh, badger needle juice, put it on some of the other moving parts. That'll help too. But the big suggestion is you just take when you first get your airbrush. If you notice it's rough, take it apart, check your trigger slot, check the inside, check your internals and just see if there's any rough machining marks and if there are uh, see if it's in a place that you can get out like the trigger slot or there and that really goes a long way with smoothing out the action on an airbrush so like I said quick sweet to the point shouldn't have to edit this at all which is what I like uh, but that's how you smooth the action on a badger airbrush thanks for watching guys uh, hope this was helpful